Hi everyone, Kim here. Welcome to my channel, Glitter and Sparkle by Kim, where you'll find all things affordable beauty and more. Are you looking for great makeup for mature skin? Are you looking for a great lip plumper? Well then I have the thing for you, so stay tuned. So today I'm sort of doing a get ready with me, but I'm also using makeup that's great for mature skin, and I'm also going to show you a new lip plumper that I have, uh, a new lip plumper color that I have. And with that said, we'll get started. Now I've already moisturized my skin today, and so we're gonna start off with the ELF Sun Touchable Woe Glow Skin, skin Sun Protection and Makeup Primer and I'm using my favorites today. And this is one of my favorite primers because it has the SPF in it and it's also tinted. And it's a primer, all in one. You just put, spread that all around your face to help fill in those pores and help smooth out your canvas for your makeup. Now it is warm today, so you may hear my little fan in the background. I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so we have our e.l.f. Woe Glow, and the next thing we're going to use, and today I am using, for mature skin, one of the greatest things to use is cream makeup. So I'm going to begin with the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless Foundation, and this is a cream makeup. And this is the Classic Beige 230. Just gonna spread that all over my face. Down my nose, we'll put some down here. for my neck. So I'm just going to use my fingers today. And we're just going to rub this in. And as you can see, it does well with coverage. This is like a medium coverage. And it's buildable. And right around my nose. To start, I'm actually going to use my City Lips Lip Plumper, and this is the clear. doesn't look clear because I've gotten lipstick in it, but I go ahead and put this on my lips to go ahead and be plumping them up, and then I'll add more later. And the first thing we're going to do is our contouring. And so with the contouring, I'm going to be using the Natural Face Cream Bronze Contour. And we just start right up here, lower cheekbone. Bring it down about to the corner of your eye. And then to disguise our chubby neck or our jawline, we're just going to go right on the edge of our jawline. And then we're going to bring that down some in the front. 
And then we're going to put a little bit of this on our forehead. Then we're going to take our blending brush and we're going to start blending. And I'm going to blend this upwards. When you're older, you want everything to go up. You don't want it falling down because it's already falling down. So you want to go up with it. Same with this side. And then we're going to blend this into our hairline. Bring a little bit of color to our forehead. My hair is getting in the way there. And then we'll blend this on our chalk jawline. And the key is to blend, 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 but don't blend it away. And then the front, I just bring this down a little bit where I have the V. to help disguise that little waddle there. I'm just going to go over this one more time. And I'm going to blend this a little more on my cheeks. And then the next thing that I'm going to use is the ELF Monochromatic Multi-Stick. And this, I believe, is in rows. Get my glasses so that I can see. And this is Sparkling Rose and Sparkling Rose. This is also a cream. And so I'm just going to put this up higher on my cheeks. Again, you don't want it low because you're older. Your tent face tends to drag down, so you want to keep everything up. And again, we blend, blend, blend. And I'm just going to kind of blend the edges out of that. Just kind of blend that in together. And the next thing we're going to use is the New Face Highlighter. And this is in Champagne Gold. Just place this on the tops of our cheeks the very tip top of your cheeks down the front of your nose above your lip a little on your chin and a little on your forehead and once again blend
And I apologize if I'm a little hoarse today. I have been really sick for the past week and it's still hanging on. I'm still not 100%. My hair seems to be blowing in my face, so I'm going to put my headband on to help with that. Hold my hair back. And now I want to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and today I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And this, I believe, is by Maybelline. And this is in Cool Ivory. And I'm just going to place a little bit of that under my eyes. I'm just going to pat that in. Next, I'm going to do my brows, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this is in Neutral Brown. The first thing I want to do is brush my brows in place. I just kind of outline it and then fill it in. Once again, I brush my brows into place and I just kind of blend that pencil in with my brows. And so that takes care of my brows. I don't spend a lot of time on my brows. Now on my eyes, I'm going to use my favorite Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. This hides any discoloration you may have on your eyelids. And it also helps to keep your eyeshadow on longer. And it really is easy to spread over your eyelid. You just need just a tiny bit. And then today I'm going to be using the El Maquillage Eyeliner Pen. Just to put a small thin line. So there is the eyeliner, and before I forget, I'm also going to put some of this contour on my finger. Between my fingers, and I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit here.
and then I just blend that a little bit. Next on my lower lashes, I'm going to use the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner. And I just line the rim. Just lightly put it on there. I don't put a dark, dark line. Next, I'm going to use my Red One Cream Eyeshadow Palette. This is my favorite one. And today, I'm going to use... this color and this color and the darker color I just put on the outside And then the other side. And going lighter as I get closer to my eyebrow. Then I take the pink color and I do the inside. And then I just kind of blend the edges. Next, I'm going to take my thin brush and I'm going to dip it in that darker liner and I'm just going to put a little bit on the outside underneath my eye. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the pink on the inside. Since I'm not going anywhere special, I am not going to curl my eyelashes. I'm just going to go ahead and put my mascara on and today I'm using the Wow Length Essence Lash Without Limits. And this does a really good job of separating your lashes and it's not clumpy at all. And this is very, very, very affordable mascara. I think it was $4.98. That's one thing about the products I use. Most of them are affordable.
The second coat of mascara I use is Essence Lash Princess. And this just helps thicken them up, give them more volume. I like to keep things simple, so I'm not going to use a lip liner today. Instead, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. monochromatic stick that I use for my blush. And I'm also going to use that for my lips. So I just place this over my city lips. And the new City Lips Lip Plumping color that I have for you today is right here. And this is called Midnight Sparkle. And this is their latest color, Midnight Sparkle. And as you can see, it's a beautiful pearly white. And I do have a discount code for you. I will list down below. Last thing I'm going to do is use my e.l.f. HD powder and I just use a little bit of this and I use my fluffy brush. And I just use this all over my face. Not a lot, just a little bit. And it takes just a little bit of a shine down. But yet it still leaves you luminous looking. So I will go off camera and finish getting ready and I will be right back. Okay, and so here is the finished look. And my jewelry was all gifts so I'm not sure where they came from so I'm unable to tell you that unfortunately but they they were all gifts and my shirt that I'm wearing is a pink tank top and this shirt I purchased from Timu so there you have it and I thank you for joining if you have any questions just post those down below and what is your favorite makeup? Do you love cream makeup or is there another makeup that you prefer? Just list that down below, I'd love to know. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.